This is Vet Tales, the story of the world's only sailing veterinary clinic. We are not at the Annapolis Boat Show. Instead, this episode, we're on a road trip to help animals in Mexico, with the boat on the heart for hurricane season. You can help us by becoming a patron, giving this video a thumbs up, and sharing it with your friends. A special thanks to all of our donators and patrons who make all of this possible. Welcome to Troncones, located a little north of Zihuatanejo on Mexico's Pacific coast. Along the beach, this region is well developed, but the area around Troncones is home to small communities and some wild places. We got a call about a struggling new mum living in a cave in the jungle near Troncones. One of the local families and their chihuahuas found this mama dog hiding in a cave. She was acting very protective of her little area and we soon realized why. To gain her trust, I started hand feeding her and to my surprise, she happily took it. A big bowl of dog food was simply irresistible and we quickly realized she was a very sweet and loving girl. Here you go, mama. Here you go. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, it's very infected. She's very friendly, huh? Once she's friendly, she don't feel hot. Oh. <laughs> a very safe home for puppies. With the mama dog out of her cave, we decided to check over the puppies and I had to reach into the deep dark cave to get them. All of the puppies looked very healthy and were just starting to walk. It's going to be hard to do anything with you because of the way you were hiding in your hueco, but now you're out. You are a very loving girl. It's a little better, yeah. yeah. After finishing her lunch, the mama dog returned to her den to feed the puppies. The local family planned to feed her every day, and Sandrine was putting in her eye ointment and giving her a check over each day, too. She ended up staying permanently with the local family. All right, we're just getting Opal ready to go for a vet visit. So we started her on some medication to see if her limp improved and to see whether her fear aggression reduced and both things seem to have been improved on medicine which tells us that she likely is feeling some pain from her leg. She had her femoral head removed in the past and so we're gonna go in to have it re-x-rayed today to make sure that enough um, of the bone was taken so it's not rubbing on the joint and also just to make sure there's nothing else going on. So that's the plan. Opal's x-ray showed some bony pieces called osteophytes around the area of the femoral head, which can indicate that there's a bit of bony inflammation. Because she was favouring the leg, the muscle wasn't developing as much as it should have been, and so it wasn't holding this new surgical joint in place. The bones were rubbing at times, leaving her in pain. So the plan was to put her on pain relief and do a lot of physiotherapy to get this joint strong and get her back into ship shape. Yeah, they're right now, that's 
Oh, I was just filming the sea turtle nest. And now there's a little doggy. The turtle eggs. Hopefully these are ones that are patched and not were dug up for any other reason. But there's a lot of turtles that lay on this beach. Well, Opal, let me take a look with some trees. Oh my god, you need to go to that. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. It's a big wound. It's a big wound. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Where is everybody? <laughs> go find some. Right. And she's got her emotional support friend here with her for the surgery, Miss Saya. She's already asleep and ready to be operated on. Her. We took Opal to the local vet to have a few stitches put in. We still haven't figured out how she did this, but it did mean two vet visits and two anaesthetics in only 48 hours for poor little Opal. The poor girl has to go through another recovery. Do I have to lift you off the bed? The weather changes quickly in these parts and we had some time to enjoy the small swell. dog that she's been fostering herself called Patita. Apparently she had a fracture of her pata, her little wrist um, paw area in the past. So we're going to go check that out and give her her vaccinations. She uh, Wax said that he would take her back. Oh yeah? That's nice. Very good. And so she has had a fracture of her paw in the past. Which I'm trying to get a look at, except she's so excited. No, buddy. No, no. No, no. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thankfully, Petita's paw had healed well and didn't seem to bother her anymore. We took out her sutures from her spay and gave her her vaccinations, and soon after filming, she was locally adopted. I'm going to get more for her. If she has something to chew on, she's fine. If she hasn't destroyed any. Little piggy, little piggy. He's, he's walking away. <laughs> he's like, bye. Right, we are doing a moving rescue center shelter house run. Lucky we have the van because it is packed full. And Jim's doing most heavy lifting today. <laughs> and Eva, actually. <laughs> With all the dogs moved into the new centre, we went to go check on everybody. Surface for Strays had a new addition, a little dog called Paz who had severely broken her leg as a puppy. Surface for Strays had flown her to Mexico City for surgery, but unfortunately it didn't heal well. She had too much secondary damage to tendons and nerves. 
The legs seemed to be causing her discomfort and she wasn't really able to use it when she walked. So after examining the leg, consulting with an orthopedic surgeon and talking to a lot of different veterinarians, she was scheduled in to have the leg amputated. As you can see, she was very happy post-operatively and seemed to be doing just fine with three legs. She was very soon adopted after filming. Opal's wound was also healing well and the dogs seemed pretty comfortable in their new digs. Thanks for watching. You can help us provide treatment for animals like these ones by becoming a patron or visiting our website for more ways to donate. Until next episode, stay chuffed everybody.